Satnam, happy full moon in Scorpio. So I can't wait to just share with you the magic and the potency of this moon. First of all, Scorpio is kind of witchy, dark and mysterious. This moon is going to be really tender. And I want to uh, give you a meditation that was given by Yogi Bhajan the day before the full moon. Because the day before the full moon is when your subconscious is the most open. It's actually when the moon always takes that void of course, which is between signs sort of thing. And almost like the subconscious doesn't know what to do. And especially when it's that void, of course, is heading into that big lunation called the full moon. It is potent, magical, and has extra ability to restore you, to help you cleanse and banish. So before we get to the meditation, I want to talk to you about some things you can do. Um, a bath meditation would be extremely awesome with rose and frankincense. Frankincense illuminate, illuminating um, your intuition and the rose um, will bring up the self-love and self-care, the unconditional love. You want to have such compassion for yourself. Your soul wants you to know there are no bad choices. There are just twists and turns in this life and no matter how big or small, how right or wrong, any turn we make is just an opportunity for the soul help us to get back on our path of destiny. So this full moon could be a real opportunity for you to reconnect with the light of your soul, with your deep truth. If you are feeling overworked, overtired, not in the zone of your happy place, the place to look is not on a big change, but in the everyday life, what are you doing on a consistent basis? Watch your mind these next couple days because the, the bad habits will be amplified. Are you judging too much? Are you, are you overcritical to yourself and others? This is a great time to write an amends to somebody. It doesn't mean you have to send it, but to be honest about maybe where you went wrong, where you were dishonest, where, you know, one of the things I think spiritual people do is sometimes we have the self-control not to say or do the thing, but we're thinking some fucked up thoughts. We're judging. We are insecure. We're having that. And let's be clear here. Your mind sends out vibes. And so that in itself, people feel and, and they react to it. And so even though you can't really be caught doing anything wrong, the undercurrent of negativity was there. And this is a great moon to write that letter. And when you do it, have compassion for you. Always write like why you do it. It was affecting my insecurity. It was affecting my um, finances. It was affecting my reputation. Now, that can all be that your ego thinks that, but to write it, release it, have compassion for it. You know, I just did one of those with a woman in my life. This is so bizarre. Like, I never talked to her. And it's been haunting me. So Scorpio Moon brings up those hauntings, especially when you're on this path. It's like, your soul is saying, look, I love you. And you need to stop. You need to not carry that. So anyways, I wrote that letter. Two days later, I get a text from her, which was an opportunity to say, you know, you look beautiful, have a great life. It's not the kind of energy I would be able to engage in all the time, but I certainly don't want there to be um, a disharmony or hatred between us because that isn't good for me, for her, for our world. So it's a time to get clear on how we can love better in the Scorpio moon. So back to, you can do a bath. The other thing is write that letter or a letter to your soul of what you'd like to cleanse and let go of, right? And in that, write three things that would make your life better if you gift yourself this release, right? And one of the nice things with Scorpio is water. So take some purified water in a beautiful bowl. And a nice thing to do is to add an amethyst. You know, a nice amethyst and put that in the water with it because amethyst is super good for bad habits and addiction and protection. So it can help you banish that thing that is um, no longer needed by you. 
So it's good to take time to honor the energy of the moon, and we will be honor honoring the energy of the moon. Teacher training again this weekend. If you haven't done teacher training, we are doing it again in September for two weeks down south. So if you're one of my San Diego students, you could do two weeks with Mahan Singh and I. And it will be again next equinox, March 2020. So this weekend during our special time together, we'll have a free meditation on Sunday, the Aquarian Sadhana, and we are having Mahan Premakar back. She is the goddess that is going to lead us into some wisdom with the Scorpio full moon and help us rid of a habit that affects us and our ability to have intuition, to be powerful in our life, to feel happy, to even keep up with our Kundalini practice. What is that thing? Sugar. Having too much of this toxic, toxic chemical in our lives starts to deteriorate our ambition, our mind, and our happiness. So she's going to be at the Great Divine Flow in an open workshop from 1 to 3.30. So you'll see that in the newsletter and you can check it out. So what we're going to do right now, do with me right now, and we are going to, and you can do it tomorrow, like through the weekend. And it's going to amp up your clarity, give you vision into the future, and it is the perfect thing for you to enhance your ability so that the words you speak become a beautiful reality in your life. And remember, as you do things like this, this is a healing that not only benefits you, but everyone around you. So, how there's it's subtle but there's a lot going on so our hands are in Gion mudra we're sitting up nice and tall the shoulders and the hips are aligned right that we're gonna tuck the chin slightly now here's the thing you take the front teeth and the bottom teeth and you're gonna seal them together then you're gonna take your tongue and put it at the roof of your mouth right where the flesh starts behind the back the front teeth so right there Okay, you're gonna look at the tip of your nose, so clenching teeth, tongue to the roof of your mouth, looking at the tip of your nose, and I'm gonna play the mantra, Sata Nama. You're not gonna chant it. You're going to, while you're clenching the teeth, tongue to the roof of the mouth, looking at the tip of the nose, you're going to project the mantra from your third eye. We're gonna do that for a little bit, then we're gonna go into stillness and have a moment in the presence. Sound good? Okay, Gyan Mudra, teeth together, lips together, tongue at the roof of your mouth, look at the tip of your nose. And this is uh, Satanama by um, Guru Vivkar. I love her. Really dreamy. You ready? Of course, now I can't get it. Okay. at the tip of your nose, mentally chanting and project the mantra out the third eye. requires a lot of concentration. This is illuminating your pituitary and pineal gland. Stay with it. <coughs> Teeth clenched, tongue to the roof of the mouth, gaze, <coughs> gazing at the tip of your nose. Chant the mantra, project it out your third eye. <coughs> Sata 
Inhale deeply. Relax your mouth, close your eyes. Project the light now. See the light beaming out your third eye, giving you Vox City. Beautiful speech that the words you speak create a dynamic reality. And for our new moon, I'm sorry, full moon in Scorpio, I'm gonna take a card from the Mother Mary deck for us. Hmm. We got the Our Lady of Resurrection. Hang on. The eternal light dwells in my heart and is the place where you enter my heart. You are held safe there. Come and resurrect. Oh, this is so perfect for the Scorpio moon. Come and be cleansed of all that you doubt. Come and be renewed. Come lay down and be healed so that you can resurrect. One hope of emerging light, a realization that just as the sun breaks through the darkest night at the dawn, so too will our Lady of Resurrection lift us up from even the deepest sorrow and gently urge us to a new light. Happy full moon in Scorpio. Happy new light. Satnam from the Great Divine Flow. I'm Mahan Raj Kar. I also do cosmic readings that entail the astrology that illuminates your destiny and your tantric numerology, as well as the Tower of Light Healing, which is a hands-on, amazing experience. <laughs>